what are kind of some of the expectations this coaching staff has had of having out of y'all coming out the gun, uh, tunnel week one? Yeah, you know, the tunnel entrance is definitely going to be a lot different this year uh, with a lot more, uh, you know, center focused around us players. Uh, I believe that's going to be a former Wildcat football player uh, opening up at that tunnel for us. Uh, I don't know the, who it is exactly, but uh, we definitely be a player that ha has had a huge impact on this program, uh, you know, in the history of this program and in the past. Uh, I've also heard it's going to be a lot more, you know, center focused on us uh, when we run out. Uh, like I said, we haven't done it yet, so I don't know exactly what it's going to be like. But, you know, a uh, few things that Coach Kleinman said, it's going to be similar to North Dakota State. And all I know is that North Dakota State, you know, their interest was pretty cool. Something the coaching staff has talked to us a lot about is what this team will look like when the lights come on on Saturday and the pressure gets real. So what are some of the things the coaching staff is preaching y'all or expecting out of y'all whenever whenever that first snap comes? Yeah, well, honestly, we just need to go out there and, you know, uh, compete and do what we've been taught to do, which is, you know, execute, or execute our plays both on defense, offense, and special teams. Uh, obviously, it's been a super, you know, high energetic week, you know, with it being game week. And, you know, we're just all super excited for, for uh, you know, week one just because, you know, with uh, ever since the new coaching staff has gotten here since the winter, uh, going through winter off-season workouts, through spring roll, through summer workouts, and then going through fall camp, you know, it's just been a, you know, a charisma that we've all had, you know, and things just keep, keep just getting higher and higher. And uh, we're just definitely super excited for it. We hear a lot of talk about rotating ends and tackles. And on one hand, of course, you want to stay fresh. On the other hand, you want to stand if you're playing well. So how do you balance that just as a player, the idea of rotating out or wanting to stay in when things are going well for you? Yeah, well, you know, the coaches, you know, they're not stupid at all. They know if you're tired. Right. Uh, obviously, you know, Nickel State isn't the most, you know, uh, high-tempo offense, but, you know, they still go pretty quick. And, uh, you know, the thing that makes it nice on the defensive line is all the guys with all the playing experience that they have. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of depth at defensive line. So, you know, you know for example, say this two starting defensive ends get tired, you know, we can put in both of our backups and be fine and, you know, recuperate in two to three plays and go back in there. How crucial is it to get a significant pass rush on a, on a quarterback that has lots of experience returning? You know, he's probably comfortable in his own system like that. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Nickel State quarterback, you know, he's definitely very experienced. Uh, he's been in the Nickel State program for five years. Uh, but, you know, they only have one returning offensive lineman. So that's definitely uh, going to be a high key success factor for us, uh, especially with all the experience and talent that we have at defensive line. I uh, just believe we're definitely going to, uh, you know, get after them up front. Just that in general, have you guys like set a bar, a goal, whatever, in terms of like improving sack numbers this year, pressuring that quarterback more? Yeah, you know, we definitely know what we're capable of. You know, that's just getting more sacks than we had last year, and uh, that's our main goal right there. How much more difficult is it against a quarterback who can move around and having to stay more disciplined in your lanes and all that kind of thing like Nichols has on Saturday? Yeah, it's definitely a challenge, def definitely a difficulty, you know, that every team faces in every college football program. Uh, you know, if you're going up, up against a quarterback that can hurt you both with his arm and his, and his feet, you know, that's something that's usually, you know, obviously scary, uh, especially with all the experience he's had in his college football uh, career, you know. Uh, especially, you know, he knows how to win. He's also a competitor. You know, they won the Southland, Southland Conference last year. They're expected to win it again this year. And, uh, you know, we're not taking anything lightly just because they're FCS school.